If you're wondering whether or not your PC or laptop could run FC26 this year, or you come to the right place, before we dive into that, we have a word with today's sponsor, Home GG. If you're struggling with frame rate and smooth gameplay for EEFC, well, I have the solution for you. Home GG is a PC optimization tool made to fix all your issues for not just EAFC by the way but for any game you are playing on PC. With just one click of a button it can boost your FPS, cut down input lag and even fix your network issues. On screen right now you guys can see the FPS before using Hone and after using Hone. It's literally doubled. I would like to also mention there are several settings that you guys can configure and tweak on the application as you wish. And the best part of it all is that it is free so it won't cost you a thing i wouldn't be promoting this if i knew it wouldn't work trust me it really does make a difference to your pc performance you can literally see all the reviews on screen right now this is the real deal so if you're facing any of the issues that i mentioned be sure to download home gt today link is in the description now that's out the way there's 99.6 percent of you guys that are not subscribed to this channel i don't know what you guys are doing so be sure to click that subscribe button it'll help me out a lot and now let's jump straight into the video so if you're not familiar with the system requirements already they are on screen right now the minimal and recommended settings as you can see it's basically the same requirements from the last three years i don't know whether this will change when the game is actually released but for now and the time being this is what you could see. This is the specs for minimum and recommended. And if you're unsure about all of this, and if, if you're unsure if your PC or laptop could run this, what you want to do is head to Google and type in, can you run this? Once you obviously Googled it, what you want to do is click this first lovely link here called, can you run it? It looks a bit dodge. All right, cool. But you can see on the onto your right screen here, there's top games like GTA 5, Hollow Knight. Now that we're here anyway, what you want to do is go to this little box here and type in EA Sports. I can't spell oh, EA Sports FC26. Once you're there, what you want to do is simply press can you run it. But yeah, cool. Now, now that we're here, it says get pricing. You could whatever. If you haven't bought it, you could check it there. Here it is. Once again, it says the minimum and recommended. What you want to simply do is click can you run it and now it will come up with gathering data it has downloaded something called the detection hbg.exe once again this is not a virus this is not a thing it's just a simple application that will basically detect your computer help or configure whether or not your pc or laptop can run this you could also do this with the Asus ROG Ally or the handhelds that obviously run Windows. So once we've obviously downloaded it, you can see it says hardware detection. As you can see, it says uh, over here, it says collecting system information. Taking a look here with identifying the hardware and software components on your computer. No personal information is being collected. Trust me, I've used this website for years now. And now... Once it says, it says it's all done. Now it's removed. It's gone away. And as you can see, it has two green ticks here. It says EA Sports FC26. Congratulations, your system passes the recommended requirements. You should have a great experience running this product. As you can see, uh, you can check, click here to see the recommended computer. Wish to check the pricing of the game and whatnot. Now, as you can see, my minimum is green. My CPU is obviously green because I have an i7. I have a 16, I have 16 gig RAM DDR4, which is green. You eight minimum uh, OS is Windows 10. I've got Windows 11, and I have 600 gig space free. But that's on my hard drive. My SSD is actually quite full. If you did not know, any game on PC, the best place to download your games essentially is on the SSD because boy oh boy, oh it's such a crazy experience compared to a hard drive and an SSD. Trust me on that. I've downloaded Need for Speed on a hard drive and it literally lagged every five seconds. Switched it to my SSD. It's like a whole different game. Same thing that happened recently. I downloaded Spider-Man 2 on my hard drive because obviously I thought, you know what, you'll have hard more space. Let's put it on there. It was lagging like a mother trucker. If you guys haven't got an SSD, I 100% recommend you guys get an SSD. If it's orange, with minimum and let's say your ram is like four gigs it still should be able to run the game you know if you're minimum and your if graphics cards red and your cpu or your cpu is red 
that means you simply cannot run the game because you, you can't have either or with, with when it comes to laptops or computers you need to have both of these at minimum and make sure the game runs well if one of these components or parts of your pc do not work or it's a complete x then my friend you need to upgrade sorry that's how it is that's just how it is these games are very demanding especially on pc and i just wanted to yeah point out there moving on to the recommended you can see that we have everything all green once again amd radeon 1660 for the 560x amd ryzen 7 intel core i7 6th gen i have double that which is mental once again is 12 gig minimum i've got 16 11 and 600 gigs and you know how it is over here and then if you guys want to check out the best of the best there's this section here where it says these computers can run everything every game obviously the prices are a bit hefty but you guys can see the the best of the best specs and the best of the best pcs here i'd 100 percent recommend cyber power by the way i recommend them 100 percent. they are flipping amazing this website is used for any other game you can see here like i said in the beginning use you could try and test out whether or not your pc could run it quite literally i don't know why football manager 25 is there though d do they know that is 26 question mark you guys if you guys are obviously getting a football manager be sure to wait for the 26 version on the website test out yourself because i've heard there's a lot of people's laptops that are going to be turned into toasters with that game because of the new graphics but once again with ea it shouldn't be a problem Comment down below if you do have any experiences or if you guys are wondering whether or not your pc can actually handle it or capable i'm replying to every single comment as much as i can as fast as i can make sure you guys check out home gg if you guys are experiencing any issues regarding fps stutter lag latency issues hone is your best friend on pc have a wonderful rest of the day subscribe if you haven't already take care and peace